What's up young ballers? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can improve at your juggling, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate. Let's go. So first things first guys, please do not undermine this aspect of juggling, but you have to be doing this every single day if you want to find improvement. You're not gonna be an overnight success when it comes to juggling. You have to be doing this every single day if you want to find the improvement in it. So in regards to the basics of juggling, like point of contact and where to hit the ball, what you wanna focus on is curling the toes up whenever you're juggling in order to keep the ball close to you. And you want to keep the point of contact around this area of the foot. And with each repetition, you want to make sure you're hitting the middle of the ball. And you hit it anywhere else, it's just gonna go away from you. And when you're juggling the ball, you also wanna make sure that your ankles are locked so that you're getting firm contact. And you wanna keep an upright posture just so that you're keeping balance as well. Now let's talk about ways you can improve at juggling. So one of the best ways I did when I was younger is isolated juggling. So just picking one side or one foot to juggle with. So this is right foot toe juggling. And then you move on to left foot toe juggling. Do 50 to 100 of these. And then do right foot lace juggling trying to keep the ball in one lane, trying not to keep it all over the place. Even though mine's not perfect, it's all about that intention of trying to keep it in one lane. And then going on to left foot laces. And then you can also switch it up, doing alternating juggling. And you can also do alternating laces. And then you can throw thigh juggling in there as well. Another way to improve a juggling is using a wall. So now what I like to do with the wall, what I like to do with the wall, what I like, <laughs> what I like to do with wall juggling is trying to keep the ball in a general area so that it's not going all over the place and then I'm keeping it controlled in one lane. And it can be either one touch or two touch, doesn't really matter. You can really just have fun with it. And you want to be playing freely, but at the same time, trying to keep it as consistent as possible. Another way to improve at juggling is making it competitive. So if you're juggling with a partner, this can be like juggling tennis, so whoever keeps it up the longest wins. But if you're just by yourself and you have a wall, try to keep it up as much as possible and try to beat that record every time. But if you don't have a wall, you can just do it by yourself, juggle it as much as you can, and juggle it in different variations too, and try to keep it up as long as you can. Oh, hit the mic, shit. Good mitt, good boy. Before I end the video guys, I want to emphasize yet again how important it is to do this every single day or else you won't see the benefits of your juggling and your first touch improving. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.